Первый спикер нашей конференции – Вилфред Парубик. Вилфред – главный партнер Microsoft Learning. Уже около 20 лет он занимается вопросами обеспечения высокого качества образования клиентов Microsoft и способствует переменам среди IT-специалистов. Тема ключевой дискуссии – Digital трансформация – это трансформация людей. Вилфред, добрый день, передаю вам слово. Good morning. And thank you, Katya, for the uh, for the introduction. I hope you can see my screen right now. Can yes, we see. Okay. Yes. So thank you, everybody. And um, as Katya already introduced uh, me, uh, my name is uh, Wilfried Parubek. Um, I'm global uh, partner sales executive uh, for Microsoft Learning working at Microsoft almost 13, 14 years, and I'm managing the Leading Learning Partners Association, uh, which is an association of 32, 33 independent training organizations around the world, covering from Argentina to Russia, from Iceland to South Africa. So I'm, I'm very honored that um, I am invited for this uh, presentation. And in the next half an hour, I will set the scene for uh, for today. Um, I will try to speak slowly English uh, to accommodate um, also the people who are not as proficient in English. So uh, let's start. And before starting, I would like to share with you a video of Peter Hinson. It summarizes very well the motions we are currently in and gives a great perspective on what happens tomorrow or even the day after tomorrow. So I will roll the video right now. Do you feel that the world around you is changing faster than ever before and that the rate of change is actually accelerating? Do you believe that the number of unknown unknowns is increasing? Well, you're not wrong. The pace of change today is exponential, and large organizations are struggling to find and spot new and radical ideas quickly, and seem unable to move fast enough to develop their potential. In the 20th century, size was power, but today, in this age of urgency, being big seems to be a disadvantage. Success means focusing not just on tomorrow, but on what the day after tomorrow will bring. We are arriving in a moment where a cocktail of new technologies are advancing the speed of change. This is a Wright Brothers moment where key innovations can trigger a cascade of changes that transforms the world. These technologies are the engines of our future. Cloud computing is the new normal, where the smallest startup now has access to computing power at a scale that was previously only available to giant corporations or superpowers. Data is the new oil and artificial intelligence will become so prevalent, it truly becomes the new electricity. Internet of Things, machine learning, digital manufacturing are rapidly ushering in the fourth industrial revolution. New network-based logic like blockchain will have an impact far beyond cryptocurrency, creating a more secure, robust and decentralized internet of trust. Augmented and virtual reality are changing the way we interact, bringing experiences to customers to an entirely new level. And if quantum computing lives up to its promise, the leap in processing power alone will drive breakthroughs that we can't even begin to imagine. This is the age of urgency and innovation fueled by technology. And you have to be prepared. You have to reinvent yourself. There are so many tools, ideas, platforms, and people just waiting to be connected. If you are willing to learn, unlearn, and take radical new directions, you will find your day after tomorrow. It is the age of urgency. It is important not only to look for what will happen tomorrow, but what will happen the day after tomorrow. And with the current pandemic we are currently in, things did even accelerate more. I can imagine that you are challenged on what will happen tomorrow, the weeks ahead, and thinking, how can I leverage new technology which impacts my business and will give me the competitive angle to become ahead of the curve? The objective for today's session is to give you a deeper and hopefully another perspective 
on digital transformation, that it's a motion about people, about you, how your people need continuous learning, training, and get new skills to keep up with the pace of technology and how today's technology can become a competitive advantage to your organization tomorrow. Let's go back a few years and explore the digital revolution we are currently in. For example, the usage of smartphones as primary device to access the internet changed our lives dramatically and actually manages our life from our hand palms. The world is literally one fingertip away. This brings a massive effort and investment on cybersecurity, data protection, compliance, but it gives also great opportunities to traditional organizations and new startups. The connected world generates massive amounts of data, which creates new requirements to be protected and to be used. These innovations and new ways of doing business have consequences. Leaders in every management team, in every organization must think and rethink daily on their strategy how can we leverage the new technologies to secure prosperity of the organization and secure that we will be successful in the future? Your customers are expecting this from you as a leader, continuous innovation, and so they can benefit of the advantages and making life easier, more comfortable and supportive. Let's take a look at the living room of today. It looks different than a few years back. Houses are becoming intelligent. Products are becoming smart. The digital era is here. Imagine the pandemic we are in today happened 10, 15 years ago, let's say in the early ages of the smartphone it would have been even more severe impact on the economy and the well-being of people. Working from home or presenting like I'm doing from Amsterdam to Moscow and Russia today would have been so more difficult than today. Not only communication is part of the digitization of our lives, but many products are managing our day-to-day -day life on a smarter way. The smart color of your dog or a smart coffee machine making my coffee to get up very early this morning to address you. Almost every product has the potential to have a smart solution. And with that, every company is actually a software company product innovation, process optimization, employee well-being, it all forces us to start thinking and operating like a digital company and explore services and create opportunities which are facilitated by the intelligent cloud and can drive your competitive edge, can drive your success. The great thing of the intelligent cloud is that it's based on shared services. New technologies and the cost of digital transformation did decline dramatically over the years and made it affordable for not only the big corporate organizations, but also for small and mid-sized companies and startups. The intelligent cloud makes it possible that every organization, also yours, can have access to the new transformative technologies for a bargain. The cost of digitization of your organization is only a fraction as it was 10 to 15 years ago. 
technologies did democratize and make it easier accessible for you. Think about artificial intelligence, intelli internet of things, etc., etc. They are in reach for every organization, for every innovative ID. And so also for you in your transformation to that digital company. The call to action is clear. Our CEO, Satya Nadella, is calling this motion I just described as technical intensity, tech intensity. Every organization needs to have a more tech intense business model. Every organization needs to be a fast adopter of digital technology to stay or get ahead of the curve. To do so, every organization needs, their build, needs to build their own digital technical capabilities. And there you see, here you realize that digital transformation is all about people. People in your leadership team, people in your IT departments, people in your business development teams, people at your technology partners, enabling you and your organization to achieve more. Trust in a vision, trust in your own employees, trust in their right skill sets is the critical component of making your organization more tech intense and be ready for the day after tomorrow. But the question arises, what does a more tech intense organization look like? So let me go through this. That is a journey you're currently pursuing, the journey of digital transformation. This journey, the digital transformation journey, has four inroads. Let me go through all four of them. The first one is empowering employees. This means helping employees to achieve more by creating a work environment that fuels productivity while remaining flexible and secure. For example, Microsoft Viva, a platform which was launched by Microsoft in February this year, contains three key components to empower employees, especially in a more remote economy as we are currently in today. Those three key components are communication, like we are doing via Microsoft Teams, learning, and well-being of their employees, especially those ones who are still working from home, like myself. That's the first one, empower employees. The second one is engaging customers, customer engagement. This use technology to interact with customers in new ways, ranging from personalized digital experiences such as targeted offers and specific personal recommendations to be more efficient and effective, uh, to, to create a more efficient and effective customer service. Think about bots, virtual agents, tracking tools, etc. But even to bring it home today, last weekend here in my home, on my kitchen counter, a five-star chef out of Amsterdam gave me via Microsoft Teams instructions on how to cook his four-course dinner. He provided the ingredients, I picked it up at his restaurant, and he guided me through it when I was preparing it at home. That is a new way of customer engagement. The third one is optimize operations accelerate the responsiveness of your business by improving service levels and reducing costs 
also here i want to bring it home and make it tangible as shops are still closed here in amsterdam i ordered last week via an online store some clothes unfortunately the shipment went wrong the customer service line the phone line was cut off via the website they advised me to contact me via whatsapp i still need to get a response of them six days after the fact i can tell you they need also some digital transformation advice and they lost one customer me so that is the optimized operations and last but not least is transforming products differentiate and capture emerging opportunities by using data as a strategic asset and shifting from hindsight to foresight just think about companies who are evolving their business models for example from a physical video rental store or chain to a streaming service of movies and television series is a prime example of digital transform products and services a prime example in this case is netflix but also think about companies like uber these four inroads empower employees engage customers optimize operations transform products are the components for digital transformation however to start this journey you need to set as a company clear goals a clear vision and define desired outcomes so first ask yourself why transform make an assessment on why you need to start the journey are it business challenges or do you see new business opportunities once defined you can go to the next phase what kind of transformation discussion do you want to have driven by the inroads i described on the previous slides um, slide or discussion driven by the specific technologies like intelligent cloud modern workplace or business applications which includes the powerful power platform and then the how that is the critical question and actually the next slide will show you the connection of the five steps you see on the right side and you will see and understand how central the role of building digital capabilities digital knowledge is digital transformation is an ongoing process where feedback loops are essential and critical the learnings gathered throughout the process will influence the design journey again which then feedbacks again to the vision the vision is a more dynamic vision continuously continuously fed by innovation and new technologies like for example you saw in the video of peter hinson blockchain or quantum technology or the dynamic vision is getting changed by the feedback the data uh, are obtained which is as you heard data the new oil and can refuel the vision over and over again the visual shows you an ongoing journey the journey of exploration of digital transformation so let's focus now on the learning aspect of this journey. The journey of digital transformation results in a more tech intense organization, which requires new skills in your organization. And here, one of the key success factors of a, digital, uh, of a successful digital transformation journey comes into play. In many organizations and companies, 
training is perceived as a cost. However, training is, as said, a critical component of the journey. And every organization needs to evaluate their current learning culture. Learning and training is a must have investment. And I hope that after today's sessions, you have a key takeaway that IT training is an investment as part of the digital transformation journey. IT training is an investment as part of the digital transformation journey. To make IT training an investment rather than a cost means you should enable and or accelerate a learning culture in your organization. Give your colleagues, give your direct reports, the ability and the time to learn. Encourage this and help your folks to get out of their comfort zone Encourage them to have an open mindset to new technologies and learn, learn, continue to learn. And with all the learnings, they can support you in your journey called digital transformation. By continuous learning, you are becoming more competitive. And that's what I call a great investment. Empower your team to achieve more by taking the time and investment to understand in depth the unlimited possibilities of the Microsoft Cloud. Microsoft Cloud doesn't only contain Microsoft Azure. Azure is the fundament. Actually, Microsoft offers a comprehensive portfolio of technology to support every organization across their business needs. Microsoft is the only company that has a full tech stack both to support both technical adoption and technical capability building of your organization. Of course, this includes our software as a service applications including our productivity tools with Microsoft 365, but also LinkedIn and Microsoft Dynamics 365. This includes also the second layer, our platform as a service offerings like GitHub and Power Platform. And of course, as the infrastructure as a service layer Azure is the platform that supports all of your technology. With a foundation of integrated identity, security, management and compliance offerings, spamming every part of the Microsoft's cloud solutions. And on the last one, we just launched new trainings on that topic, topic of security, compliance and identity. But keep in mind, while the technology is important, it is really about how the technology allows you to achieve more. And therefore, learning and training is one of the key success factors which increases your success. Again, digital transformation is all about people. So how to skin this cat? You will hear more about it during this seminar today. But from my personal perspective, it is based on three steps to take, which makes your investment in skills, your investment in training, a more beneficial one. First, start to work on creating a learning culture in your organization. Encourage people to learn. Make it part of each job role. Make it even a commitment. For example, at Microsoft, we have learning days. Last month, we, have, we had two days where we need to cancel our regular meetings and spend time on learning. 
they didn't force the topic. They let us investigate which topic we wanted to pursue and 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 wanted to learn. It's important to give your employees, your direct reports, the time to pursue their vision, their own personal vision. Secondly, once you have created your draft vision and start to design your digital transformation journey, it is time to create skills plans. Provide skills plans not only for your technical staff, but as important and maybe even more important also for your other teams like sales, like marketing, like business development teams, et cetera, et cetera. They as well need to understand the concepts of digital transformation from a business perspective. All aligned to the journey you started or are about to start. Specialist as proud member of the leading learning partners association and only member in Russia is able to support you in defining these skills plans. They have subject matter experts on this and have the experience to get you the biggest bang for your buck. Thirdly, and last, execute the skills plans. And my strong recommendation is clearly to get people trained via instructor-led training and set clear certification goals. The reason for instructor-led training? Pretty simple. A trainer can identify potential skills gaps better. A trainer is a motivator, is the coach for your team, their students. Whereas with self-study, it will be significant harder to get the desired return of investment. Research did prove that. And why certification? As the end station, because you want to measure your return in investment. You want to know that your team has the right skill sets to successfully implement the company's journey. And with that, you provided every team member the best fundament and you empowered them to achieve more. Actually, with such focus on making learning and training as part of the digital a daily routine and with the right mindset from you and your employees, you will create from your IT professionals and from your employees and other cloud skilled, uh, cloud, skills, cloud skilled teams, the change agents of your organization. They will be your guardian angel for your digital transformation journey. Actually, remember the slide I showed in the beginning? They will help you to answer the question, what the future holds for you and your organization and help to create the vision for the day after tomorrow and the weeks ahead. I can imagine now that you think, oh boy, this will be a hell of a journey. Where to start, what to do. And that is why I want to end my session with a quote of our CEO, Satya Nadella. Take things step by step, get buy in, but be determined and demonstrate tenacity. Digital transformation isn't all about technology. Digital transformation is for sure about culture, by learning, listening, leveraging the work of others to let your folk, folks pursue their passions and achieve your mutual dreams. Remember, in the age of digital transformation, it's all about people. Therefore, investment in people is needed. And then, for sure, 
everything is possible. Thank you so much for your attention. And I want to give it back from Amsterdam, back to uh, Moscow, Russia. Um, Katja, please take it over. Uh, Wilfred, thank you. It's uh, time uh, for questions. Уважаемые участники, напоминаю, что сейчас можно задать спикеру ваши вопросы в чате. We have first question from Anton. Um, Anton asks, uh, what is the main challenge that IT staff need to overcome to be a real leader of change? I think the critical the critical components and the, 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 the biggest challenge is that it's not common to have a learning culture in your organization. Even at Microsoft, six, seven years ago, it was not, um, you had your mandatory training, but that's it. And in the last couple of years, um, our management said from take your time, block four or five hours a week on learn and pursue um, to understand what the new technologies are can do. So it's the fear um, of people to get out of their comfort zone and make sure that they are actually spending time to learn. And if you're over if you're overcoming the, the fear of individuals to get out of their comfort zone, to understand new things on doing business, to show a growth mindset, and you are overcoming that challenge. That's the reason why I say, and, and, and the Microsoft Learning Organization is saying, that digital transformation is not only about technology, but digital transformation is about the people who are going to implement technology and use technology. So actually, digital transformation is about people. So Anton, I hope that I answered your question correctly. Uh, uh, thank you, Wilfred. And next question from uh, Valeria Plotnikova. Um, Paulina, please um, translate. Um, first, I speak okay. in Russia. Каковы возможности развития в части здоровья? Например, сейчас электронное замещение поджелудочной железы работает у людей. Wilfred, say please, what are the development opportunities for health development? For example, now electronic uh, replacement, for example, of the uh, pancreas works in humans. Can you repeat that question? Because I don't really understand. Uh, <clears throat> what are development opportunities for health? For health? Yeah. Oh, um, that's, a, that's a great question. As you might have heard, uh, Microsoft uh, purchased uh, a company called Nuance. Um, I think it was last Monday or, or Tuesday. Um, as I am a partner manager of learning, it is for me very hard to, uh, to understand what the development uh, opportunities are in sectors like health. Um, but I'm pretty sure uh, other Microsoft people and employees also in the Russian uh, Microsoft location absolutely can help you on that one. So sorry that I can't give you there the full insight because it's not my um, my my knowledge center. I need to learn on that one. Let's put it that way. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question from uh, Elizaveta. Какие um, навыки являются ключевыми для команд? What are key skills for teams uh, to reach the digital transformation? No, yeah, it, it's really depending on uh, um, going back to those four buckets, uh, empower, uh, empower uh, employees, engagement of customers, transforming products and optimize, optimi uh, optimized processes. So 
uh, it, I think if you are really at the starting point of um, of of the digital transformation journey, uh, please go to specialists and and let um, the more business oriented people uh, follow the fundamental trainings so that you have a deeper insight on what possibilities are from a business perspective. Is it artificial intelligence? Is it Internet of Things? or are at other technologies so once you have that basic knowledge on what cloud services can do in general you can take the next step and then identify with the leadership team of your organization what uh, what technology can do and what the cloud services can do for your company and then at a certain point you create a vision and like, for example, Netflix created the vision that that they want to move in streaming services for for movies and series. Um, so that is a direction and they choose one of those four buckets. And then you can tailor make your training needs on that. Um, um, so every bucket of that journey might have different training needs now you are as a customer not the specialist on what training needs then and what training you need to follow to get the knowledge then you are going to specialists uh, and say from okay this is the vision we are pursuing and which trainings would then be suitable for getting the right and the deep know-how and understanding to um, to um, uh, to fulfill that vision. So a training organization like specialists, and they have a lot of knowledge about that, they can be very helpful to identify and pick and choose the right trainings for you, for the journey and the vision you are pursuing. So they are actually your partner in creating your digital transformation journey. I hope I answered your question. Thank you, Wilfred. Um, thank you for the participation. And um, спасибо, uh, Wilfred, за доклад. Благодарим вас за участие.